I wrote the song based on being extremely insecure and not feeling that you're good enough or pretty enough or smart enough and hearing too many people tell you those things and it finally affecting you to a point where you just think you're ugly and pointless. So I wrote that song because that's kind of how I felt. And um, when Christina came to my house, I noticed that she was in a different mood and, and didn't seem, you know, like she was bubbling and happy. And she seemed nervous and said, can you play me something to break the ice? I'm, I'm kind of in a mood, remember? And, and I had just written the song and um, I was like, Okay, I felt weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I sat down and I, I played this song. And she was at the end of my house, the, all the way in the back. And then as I was playing, I could feel her get closer and closer to the piano. And by the end of the song, she looked at me and she's like, can you write the words for me and make a demo of that? And I looked at her and I'm like, really? And I didn't... Like, I would never think that someone as beautiful as her would relate. But then it dawned on me after she left, I was like, you know what? That's what this song is about. It's about people who, it doesn't matter physically, they look beautiful to you, but maybe inside they're insecure. And she came the next day, I demoed it on piano and I handed her the words. And she brought a friend with her and um, we had our headphones on and the song started and she looked at her friend and she said, don't look at me. And as soon as she said that, I knew, I got goosebumps and um, I knew that the song was meant for her because she knew exactly what I was feeling and what the song meant. And that vocal that you hear on the radio, that was her first time singing that song and it was wonderful so thank you for for I mean she really nailed it and I I, I, I can't think of anybody else who could have sang that song the way she did <laughs>